A mathematical constant is a special number, usually a real number, that is, significantly interesting in some way. Constants arise in many areas of mathematics, with constants such as e and pi occurring in such diverse contexts as geometry, number theory, and calculus. What it means for a constant to arise, naturally, and what makes a constant, interesting, is ultimately a matter of taste. And some mathematical constants are notable more for historical reasons than for their intrinsic mathematical interest. The more popular constants have been studied throughout the ages and computed to many decimal places. All mathematical constants are definable numbers and usually are also computable numbers. Common mathematical constants. These are constants which one is likely to encounter during pre-college education in many countries. Archimedes constant pi The constant pi has a natural definition in Euclidean geometry, but may be found in many places in mathematics. For example, the Gaussian integral in complex analysis, the roots of unity in number theory, and Cauchy distributions in probability. However, its universality is not limited to pure mathematics. Indeed, various formulae in physics, such as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, and constants such as the cosmological constant include the constant pi. The presence of pi in physical principles, laws and formulae can have very simple explanations. For example, Coulomb's law, describing the inverse square proportionality of the magnitude of the electrostatic force between two electric charges and their distance states that, in SI units, besides corresponding to the dielectric constant in vacuum, the factor in the above denominator expresses directly the surface of a sphere with radius r, having thus a very concrete meaning. The numeric value of pi is approximately 3.14159. Memorizing increasingly precise digits of pi is a world record pursuit. Euler's number e Euler's number e, also known as the exponential growth constant, appears in many areas of mathematics, and one possible definition of it is the value of the following expression. For example, the Swiss mathematician Jacob Bernoulli discovered that e arises in compound interest. The constant e also has applications to probability theory, where it arises in a way not obviously related to exponential growth. Suppose that a gambler plays a slot machine with a 1 in n probability of winning, and plays it n times. Then, for large n the probability that the gambler will win nothing at all is approximately 1. E intends to this value as n tends to infinity. Another application of E, discovered in part by Jacob Bernoulli along with French mathematician Pierre Raymond de Montemort, is in the problem of derangements, also known as the hat check problem. Here n guests are invited to a party, and at the door each guest checks his hat with the butler who then places them into labeled boxes. The butler does not know the name of the guests, and so must put them into boxes selected at random. The problem of de Montmort is, what is the probability that none of the hats gets put into the right box? The answer is and as n tends to infinity, pn approaches 1, e. The numeric value of e is approximately 2.71828. Pythagoras constant square root 2 The square root of 2, often known as root 2, radical 2, or Pythagoras's constant, and written as square root 2, is the positive algebraic number that, when multiplied by itself, gives the number 2. It is more precisely called the principal square root of 2, to distinguish it from the negative number with the same property. Geometrically the square root of 2 is the length of a diagonal across a square with sides of one unit of length. This follows from the Pythagorean theorem. It was probably the first number known to be irrational. Its numerical value truncated to 65 decimal places is... 1.414212135623703095042098018798078678571875376948073176697937969 
The quick approximation 9970s for the square root of 2 is frequently used. Despite having a denominator of only 70, it differs from the correct value by less than 1 ten thousandth. The imaginary unit I, the imaginary unit or unit imaginary number, denoted as I, is a mathematical concept which extends the real number system to the complex number system, which in turn provides at least one root for every polynomial P. The imaginary unit's core property is that I2 equals minus 1. The term, imaginary, is used because there is no real number having a negative square. There are in fact two complex square roots of minus 1, namely i and minus i, just as there are two complex square roots of every other real number, except 0, which has one double square root. In contexts where i is ambiguous or problematic, j or the Greek iota is sometimes used. In the disciplines of electrical engineering and control systems engineering, the imaginary unit is often denoted by J instead of I, because I is commonly used to denote electric current in these disciplines. Constants in advanced mathematics. These are constants which are encountered frequently in higher mathematics. The Feigenbaum constants alpha and delta iterations of continuous maps serve as the simplest examples of models for dynamical systems. Named after mathematical physicist Mitchell Feigenbaum, the two Feigenbaum constants appear in such iterative processes. They are mathematical invariants of logistic maps with quadratic maximum points and their bifurcation diagrams. The logistic map is a polynomial mapping, often cited as an archetypal example of how chaotic behavior can arise from very simple nonlinear dynamical equations. The map was popularized in a seminal 1976 paper by the Australian biologist Robert May, in part as a discrete time demographic model analogous to the logistic equation first created by Pierre Francois Verhulst. The difference equation is intended to capture the two effects of reproduction and starvation. The numeric value of alpha is approximately 2.5029. The numeric value of delta is approximately 4.6692. Aperi's constant zeta despite being a special value of the Riemann zeta function, Aperi's constant arises naturally in a number of physical problems including in the second and third order terms of the electron's gyromagnetic ratio, computed using quantum electrodynamics. The numeric value of zeta is approximately 1.2020569. The golden ratio phi the number phi, also called the golden ratio, turns up frequently in geometry, particularly in figures with pentagonal symmetry. Indeed, the length of a regular pentagon's diagonal is phi times its side. The vertices of a regular icosahedron are those of three mutually orthogonal golden rectangles. Also, it appears in the Fibonacci sequence, related to growth by recursion. Kepler proved that it is the limit of the ratio of consecutive Fibonacci numbers. The golden ratio has the slowest convergence of any irrational number. It is, for that reason, one of the worst cases of Lagrange's approximation theorem and it is an extremal case of the Hurwitz inequality for Diophantine approximations. This may be why angles close to the golden ratio often show up in Philotaxis. It is approximately equal to 1.61803398874, or, more precisely the Euler-Masteroni constant gamma. The Euler-Masteroni constant is a recurring constant in number theory. The Belgian mathematician Charles-Jean de laval Poussin proved in 1898 that when taking any positive integer n and dividing it by each positive integer m less than n, the average fraction by which the quotient 10 per meter falls short of the next integer tends to as n tends to infinity. Surprisingly, this average doesn't tend to one half. The Euler-Masteroni constant also appears in Merton's third theorem and has relations to the gamma function, the zeta function and many different integrals and series. The definition of the Euler-Masteroni constant exhibits a close link between the discrete and the continuous. The numeric value of is approximately 0.57721. 
Conway's constant lambda Conway's constant is the invariant growth rate of all derived strings similar to the look and say sequence. It is given by the unique positive real root of a polynomial of degree 71 with integer coefficients. The value of lambda is approximately 1.30357. Kinchin's constant k if a real number r is written as a simple continued fraction, where a are natural numbers for all k then, as the Russian mathematician Alexander Kinchin proved in 1934. The limit is n tends to infinity of the geometric mean. 1, n exists and is a constant, Kinchin's constant, except for a set of measure 0. The numeric value of k is approximately 2.68545200010. The glacier Kinkelin constant a the glacier Kinkelin constant is defined as the limit. It is an important constant which appears in many expressions for the derivative of the Riemann zeta function. It has a numerical value of approximately 1.28242712912. Mathematical curiosities and unspecified constants. Simple representatives of sets of numbers some constants, such as the square root of 2, Liouville's constant and Champenoun constant are not important mathematical invariants but retain interest being simple representatives of special sets of numbers, the irrational numbers, the transcendental numbers and the normal numbers respectively. The discovery of the irrational numbers is usually attributed to the Pythagorean hypothesis of Metapontum who proved, most likely geometrically, the irrationality of the square root of 2. As for Liouville's constant, named after French mathematician Joseph Liouville, it was the first number to be proven transcendental. Chaitin's constant omega in the computer science subfield of algorithmic information theory. Chaitin's constant is the real number representing the probability that a randomly chosen Turing machine will halt. Formed from a construction due to Argentine-American mathematician and computer scientist Gregory Chaitin, Chaitin's constant, though not being computable, has been proven to be transcendental and normal. Chaitin's constant is not universal, depending heavily on the numerical encoding used for Turing machines, however, its interesting properties are independent of the encoding. Unspecified constants When unspecified, constants indicate classes of similar objects, commonly functions all equal up to a constant. Technically speaking, this is maybe viewed as similarity up to a constant. Such constants appear frequently when dealing with integrals and differential equations. Though unspecified, they have a specific value, which often is not important. In integrals indefinite integrals are called indefinite because their solutions are only unique up to a constant. For example, when working over the field of real numbers where c, the constant of integration, is an arbitrary fixed real number. In other words, whatever the value of c, differentiating sin x plus c with respect to x always yields cos x. In differential equations in a similar fashion, constants appear in the solutions to differential equations where not enough initial values or boundary conditions are given. For example, the ordinary differential equation y equals y has solution c x where c is an arbitrary constant. When dealing with partial differential equations, the constants may be functions, constant with respect to some variables. For example, the PDE has solutions f equals c, where c is an arbitrary function in the variable y. Notation. Representing constants it is common to express the numerical value of a constant by giving its decimal representation. For two reasons this representation may cause problems. First, even though rational numbers all have a finite or ever-repeating decimal expansion, irrational numbers don't have such an expression making them impossible to completely describe in this manner. Also, the decimal expansion of a number is not necessarily unique. For example, the two representations 0.999 and 1 are equivalent in the sense that they represent the same number. Calculating digits of the decimal expansion of constants has been a common enterprise for many centuries. 
For example, German mathematician Ludolf van Soylen of the 16th century spent a major part of his life calculating the first 35 digits of pi. Using computers and supercomputers, some of the mathematical constants, including pi, e, and the square root of 2, have been computed to more than 100 billion digits. Fast algorithms have been developed, some of which, as for Aperi's constant, are unexpectedly fast. Some constants differ so much from the usual kind that a new notation has been invented to represent them reasonably. Graham's number illustrates this is not sup arrow notation as used. It may be of interest to represent him using continued fractions to perform various studies, including statistical analysis. Many mathematical constants have an analytic form. That is, they can be constructed using well-known operations that lend themselves readily to calculation. Not all constants have known analytic forms, though. Grossman's constant and Foyer's constant are examples. Symbolizing and naming of constants Symbolizing constants with letters is a frequent means of making the notation more concise. A standard convention, instigated by Leonhard Euler in the 18th century, is to use lowercase letters from the beginning of the Latin alphabet or the Greek alphabet when dealing with constants in general. However, for more important constants, the symbols may be more complex and have an extra letter, an asterisk, a number, a lemiscate or use different alphabets such as Hebrew, Cyrillic or Gothic. Sometimes, the symbol representing a constant is a whole word. For example, American mathematician Edward Kastner's nine-year-old nephew coined the names Google and Googleplex. The names are either related to the meaning of the constant or to a specific person. Table of Selected Mathematical Constants Abbreviations Used